Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Stellaris with the Bacturian Collective. We have conquered quite a bit since the last time you saw us. We managed to integrate some more vassals. We've taken a lot of territory up here, attacked the Dis League as well. Uh, looks like some of my enemies uh, that are neighboring me have decided to start allying up, so pushing is going to get a little bit slower from here on out. I can probably finish these guys off in no problem, but the Kemplar and the Commonwealth here uh, are allies. These three guys are in a federation. Um, the Dis are... we can probably deal with them, no problem. These guys are not together, they're fighting. But to make things really complicated, uh, I just seem to have really upset one of the fallen empires. My borders have expanded enough to actually take one of their planets and their not, our star systems, and they are not happy about it. It does say that they are equivalent to me, right? So the fact that I have 100,000 fleet power uh, scares me a little bit if they are equivalent to that. They could be a little bit stronger, they could be a little bit weaker, I don't know, but they sent me a little ultimatum right here. Filthy bugs, you have encroached upon our space for the last time. Withdraw immediately or we will cleanse the stain upon the universe that is your worthless species. Can we handle a fallen empire right now? So we have no choice to accept. We could lose two colonies. We'd be humiliated. We'd lose happiness, monthly influence, and so on. And they'd be a little bit happier toward me, basically. Or we go to war. We refuse their demands, and we probably just go straight to war. So yeah, that's a, that's that's going to be a fun turn of events. Uh, I'm getting my fleet down here right now. I have 1,000 power right here. I'm probably going to need all of these ships, so I'm going to go ahead and start moving them this direction as well. We'll probably need to have this small little fleet. Um, yeah, what I can mostly hope for is that they're going to split their fleets to go in two different directions. I can catch one of them out and destroy it. I'm going to keep my entire fleet together, and we're going to see if we can catch them out and destroy some stuff. I don't know. This is the first time I've actually faced a war that might be considered a worthy challenge. And we may not be able to win this one. I really don't know. Okay, now we have to decide what to do with this. Right. All right. We have. Uh, we are going to... Uh, we're going to go to war. I refuse to be bullied by you. Oh, he sent it again. No, we will not be bullied. Okay, what's going to happen? Is he going to declare war on me? Who knows? First things first, let me take a look at some policies, see if there's anything I can use. I don't think so. Research, no. The Grand Fleet, repair cost and upgrade cost could be useful. I don't need the extra uh, naval capacity per se, but if my fleet ever gets attacked, I could just turn this on so I repair faster. None of that will necessarily be useful. I don't think there are any temporary modifiers I can add to myself to make this easier. I really wish this guy was dead, right? His naval capacity reduction really does suck. Would like to have the uh, monthly influence guy and stuff instead, but oh well. Yeah, so uh, let's see what his response is going to be. Uh, it doesn't say we're at war yet. So, yes, no, maybe. Do you surrender, sir? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of afraid he's going to all of a sudden decide we're at war and then he's going to ambush me. But I've got my 100,000 power fleet right here, so... Yeah, I, hmm, I don't know. Let's go ahead and increase our army damage a little bit, because that could actually be helpful against these guys. So, yes? No? He's refusing. He's, he's not declaring war on me. Now, that actually makes me feel a little bit bold. It kind of makes me wonder if maybe I'm stronger than I think, and he knows it and refuses to go to war because of that. He does have a lot of military stations... That's an interesting thought. Let's take a look-see. Wow! 15,000 power on this. I definitely want to keep my entire fleet together and just crush this one at a time, hopefully not lose very many ships, if any. What about over here? Uh, not so bad. Pretty small station overall, comparatively. This is just what little intelligence I do have against him. I don't know. If I had to start this war, I probably would jump on here, destroy his stations ASAP. I want to destroy all of his spaceports, primarily. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if he's not going to declare the war, then I think maybe I will. It's aggressive and possibly foolhardy. But, uh, I may want to do it. I may want to just kill him. And see how well that works out for me. Let's go ahead and get these guys together. 
You can stay where you are. This is just my little cleanup fleet. It finds all the construction ships and the little wormhole stations and so on and blows them all up. Transport ship killer. Much faster. It's a better way of playing the game, I think. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys together. And tell everybody else to group up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna declare this war. Uh, I wanna I wanna see what happens against the Fallen Empire. I probably won't be showing all of this war, because I am still gonna continue to play um, a couple hours in between, but... It would be interesting to see what they actually can do. You are trying our patience, he says. You know, it'd be really fun. Kill them. If Okay, if I can win this war, right? If I can win this war, then I sh presumably will get to dis uh, research a bunch of debris. That'd be fun. Maybe we could get some really sick technology off these guys. I don't know. Let's suppose it's true. Let's 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 just say we're gonna do this. I'm gonna humiliate him because I want him to lose out on happiness and uh, money, so he's less likely to build himself back up. Uh, I would probably tell you to seed this planet, Aurelia. I would probably take this planet, Wex Elia. This one, Alfard, Alfred. I don't know. Maybe something down over here on the western side as well. Evan, Evan, uh, Evexus? I mean, we might as well get ourselves up to a really high war score cost. It's surprisingly cheap to take some of these planets. Like, I don't know. I guess maybe his capital world is worth a ton as a uh, fallen empire. I'm not really sure how that works. I've never actually seen anyone attack a fallen empire before, voluntarily. Oh my gosh, am I, just, am I gonna ask to take literally every planet you have? Alright. That's too much. I can leave him with one planet. Okay. Um, well, I wouldn't mind taking his home system. What if I just say no to Nimbus? Forget Nimbus. Take that off. That's a 95 war score. I don't think there are anyone I would want to invite. Nobody would accept. Yeah. Do I just do it? I just do it, I think. What the heck? If I lose, I lose. I haven't lost anything in a very long time. It could be kind of fun to lose for once. Confirm. We have just attacked a fallen empire. All right, let's immediately send my massive fleet to go here. I know that there's going to be a very, very powerful fortress. Or what is this? Hang on. No, that's his armada. Nine battle cruisers and 24 escorts? What's an escort? Wow! These ships look awesome! They kind of remind me of the mining drones. So wait, you have equivalent power to me, it said. So am I about to wipe out like a quarter of your fleet? And if so, won't that put me at a huge advantage over you? I suspect it would. Okay, yeah, we're gonna jump straight on that and we're gonna try to kill your fleet. Your stations don't scare me that much. Let's see how well that works out for us. I'm going to slow down. I do not need to be going at fastest right now. Uh, Alright, so the fleet is getting prepared. My giant armada of over 1,000 power, 26 battle cruisers, 52 cruisers, 77 destroyers, and 132 corvettes. Uh, system got surveyed, which I don't really care about. Let's just pay attention to what's going to happen here. Alright, we are in Fallen Empire space. I'm going to slow down even further. It's going to take me a little while to get over there, but I want to pay attention to this. Now, he's not reacting at all right now. The game's also really slowing down. I'm getting nine frames per second right now. That's There's just so much to process right now. Ooh. There we go. Now it's speeding up a little bit. Go a little faster. Uh, just just get, in, get, in, get in range, and then we'll slow down and watch what happens. I want to see what kind of weapons he uses. This could be great. Destroy his fleet. Research it. Who knows what kind of technology we unlock. Maybe there's even technology in this game that's only accessible to you if you attack a fallen empire. Like, you can't discover it normally. Maybe? I don't know. We're about to destroy a mining station, which I don't really care about, but hey, why not? You know, first strike and all that. Gotta start somewhere. Come on, go a little faster, please. I'm on fastest speed. I'm getting 10 frames per second. This game just really, like, can't handle what's going on. That's a surprisingly hardy mining station, sir. Hostile fleet engaged. 
Uh, okay, we have the spaceport now in range. Some sort of spaceport. Hmm. Okay, oh, forgot I had a colony ship over here. Uh, what did I want to do with you? You're a desert one, right? I think I wanted to send you over... There's a 25 one somewhere. I thought? No, maybe not. I was pretty sure it was over here. Maybe it was up here. There it is. 25 size. Uh, was it you? Yes. Yes, indeed it was. Colony ship. Come here. Colonize the planet. We will place you, I think, right here makes the most sense. Samnivik Prime. I don't really care about the name. It's not super relevant to me. So we detect something here. Some construction ships, which I don't really feel that threatened by. Lots of military stations. You have them in every single world. Now, does it cal calculate military stations when it decides if they are equivalent in strength to me? I don't know. But we're going to find out. We're in range to start blowing up their spaceports. He's still not reacting at all. Is it just me or is the AI just like really passive in this game? Is he like bringing his fleet together? I see no evidence that he is. I don't know. We're blowing. Okay, now we are in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's doing something that's destroying my ships really fast. Slow down. I want to see what happens. What? Wow! He's got like tachyon lances of his own, and they're really long range. Yeah, they're tachyon lances. That's exactly what he's using. Same technology I have. Unfortunately, my destroyers are rushing in too fast before my battleships are able to react because they engaged with the spaceport first, so he's going to destroy a whole bunch of my early ships. Ooh, that's not good. Hey guys, I need you all to get in range, please. Oh my gosh, they're just sitting back here. Guys? Oh, this is a surefire way to die. Okay, I don't see any evidence that we're doing, like, anything to him. This is not good. Go to fastest speed. Let's see what happens. I'm watching my ships get picked off because they are not engaging at the same speed. And I see zero evidence that we're even targeting his ships. It looks like we're still attacking some stations. And not even doing a good job of it. Wow. Guys. For the love of God. Okay, now we're about to destroy an escort. Took this long to even punch its shields across. Oh my god, these guys hurt. We destroyed one of their ships, and I've lost many, many of my own. And they are definitely shooting down my missiles. Holy smokes, these guys are tough. Like, most of my ships are not even engaged right now. It's just the cruisers. Like, this fleet is too big, obviously. Way too big. I need to break it up into smaller, more uh, bite-sized pieces. Okay, we are managing to destroy some of his fleet, though. It's taking a lot of work, but we are punching through and his escorts are falling apart. Now, the, the closer he gets to me, the more in range we get, the more damage we're going to start doing. Which is good. We're even starting to punch through to some of his battle cruisers, and they're generating their shields remarkably quickly, too. But okay, so what's left for you? It looks like all your battle cruisers are left. You have 9,000 power with like 8 battle cruisers. We can handle it, though. All in all, I lost a good handful of ships, but... If this is pretty much his entire navy, then I'm not especially worried about it right now. I think we'll be okay. I just need to build more ships. I mean, I've got 20,000 minerals. I would queue up some more. I'm just engrossed in what's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once my fleet gets into range, we absolutely annihilate. It's just taking way too long to do so. He's got point defense modules of his own. I'm seeing them shoot down my bomber units. But that should deal with the last of his battle cruisers. Okay. Huh. Okay. Whoop! Okay, so he has a small fleet over here. He has a much larger fleet here. We found his... Okay, he is hanging out over his homeworld. Wow. Okay. So we had a hard enough time just destroying 15,000 power. He's got another, he's got like 45 right here. Plus some. Yeah. A little concerning. Hmm. Let's, um, let's start training up some more replacement ships. 
Gonna need some more destroyers, more point defense. Although, honestly, the point defense may not even be that important for me. Because it looks like he's not using very many missiles. So how about some harpies? Okay, I've got a bunch going over there. Uh, let's say over here. Nope, I don't actually have a planet there, my mistake. On Ilum, or Ulum, you're already building some more. Over here? I thought I had a planet. I'm getting confused because I have wormhole stations. Uh, how about here? Build... I don't know, how about some Defiance and some Messiah classes? It's gonna take a long time before those are built, and I could spread them out over more planets and that would be more efficient, but... For now, I think we're okay. We've annihilated the fleet, now we're just gonna bombard all of his stations. The question is now, can I draw him to me in some way? I don't know. Let's make a move on this planet, though. I want to see how much war score we actually can get. Good lord, this game is slow now. It's just so many things. I'm gonna split you up. Okay, and you... You already have an admiral. Well, looks like the same admiral. Let's get you in charge here. Reassign from... He's moving to a lot. No, go here. There we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's embark our main army. I have been training some more troops in my spare time on the off chance I need more. But for you, we will embark. And we are going to send the transport fleet down there. Transport fleet? Transport fleet. Thank you. That was, um... Surprisingly painful. Given the circumstances. But it is reassuring to know that the Tachyon Lances and such are a favored weapon of choice by the uh, Fallen Empires themselves. I do think my fleets have been fully repaired. Having a bunch of Messiah classes and such is very helpful. What are you... Oh, hang on. Found another fleet. It's only got 2,000 power. It's a bunch of escorts. What is an escort uh, classified as? They look like they're small corvettes, but they can handle a surprising beating. They don't have as much range, though. We should be able to deal with the uh, escorts, no problem. It's the battleships that concern me. Well, I don't know. Hang on. They're using... No, wait. That's inflicted... Yeah. Yeah, they're using Tachyon Lances, too. Okay, so they can't be a Corvette because they must have a long-range class weapon. Now, that said, I don't think we lost anything out of that fight, and my Messiah classes should allow us to very rapidly repair. So, no concerns there. Let's go ahead and get in there. Make sure you go on aggressive. If anything comes out of hyperspace, I want to deal with it. We are bombarding that. Nationalist sabotage. It's very annoying, but ultimately I don't think I care at all. Nationalists have been a problem for me lately. Alright, so you get over here, please. And go ahead and immediately land the armies once you arrive. So, what is this little fleet doing? I don't know. It's it's destroyed a few little stations, but it doesn't seem willing to engage much. Let's see. I'm going to take my little cleanup fleet. How quickly can you get here? Yeah, I don't want you jumping through their space necessarily. Can you get across over here and then down there? I don't know if they'll arrive anytime soon, but we'll give it a shot. That's a much faster fleet. Okay. So I'm wondering then... Um... Can I draw them out some, somehow? They are not willing to leave their capital world. And maybe I shouldn't be looking, you know, I shouldn't be uh, upset by that. Maybe that's an okay thing. Maybe I should just attack all their core worlds, destroy their military stations, their military power, their spaceport so they can't rebuild before I even bother drawing them out. If they want to stay here turtled up, I can, I can do a lot of damage. Not necessarily a bad thing. What's going on over here? They are very long range. A single battle cruiser is taking on my spaceport, and they're probably going to win if I can't get reinforcements. It's not a big deal. I don't really care that much about the spaceport, but still. Hey, transport fleet, are you going to arrive anytime soon? Come on. Faster. Faster! This is why I'm on fastest speed, is because I'm impatient. Oh gosh, he's got like four more jumps to go. Where is this fleet? 
They're on their way. Uh, they might actually get here in time. It's not doing damage anytime fast. I mean, he is doing damage, but... Eh. He might be okay. So he's already engaged in this fight. Why don't you just go crush it? Oh, he ran away. He's running over here now. You might be able to catch that, and if so, I think you can win. His Tachyon Lances can only shoot one ship at a time, powerful that they may be. We'll see if that works. Hmm. Wonder what kind of, um... Oh, and he's gone. Is he? Oh, they went down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't engage that. Sit back. Let's be defensive for the time being. Don't do anything crazy. I don't want to go into their space. They can jump me far faster than I can jump them. Transport fleet. Almost arrived. Now, this typically provokes a response from the AI. They don't like seeing transport fleets hanging around. Where are we? Oh, you got... Huh? They went down here. Go ahead and harass. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm about to invade one of your planets. We'll see how this works. You know, maybe I won't... Uh, maybe, I w maybe I won't skip a bunch of time in this episode. Maybe I will continue to show it. It could be kind of fun to see a war against the Fallen Empire, right? I think it might. Let's try landing here and just sort of see what happens. I want to know how strong these guys are. Morale damage, 1.57. It looks pretty standard defensive army power to me. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I've got an army basically of entirely, um... Well, not entirely, but a lot of elite troops and uh, Xenomorph. Okay, maybe it's not quite as good as I thought it was. I actually did mean to switch out a lot of these assault armies with the Xenomorphs. Because I built quite a few of them down here, but... We'll hold them in reserve for the time being. We should be able to handle this fight, I think. Oh yeah, easily. They're not nearly as strong as I thought they were. So let's take a look at these guys. They're fanatic xenophobes. They're thrifty. That's about it. They're just really good at making money and hating people. Bunch of racists. That's all they're good for. What the heck is this stuff? Autonomous fabricators. Agri-processing complex. Dark matter power plant. Man, I would love to take some of this stuff. Look how much look how much value you get out of one building. Jeez. Looking forward to taking this planet from you, sir. It's a very nice planet you have there. It would be a shame if anything were to happen to it. <laughs> What's this? Hey! Stop it! Okay, hang on. Can I get up here? No, wait. This fleet. Can I? Let's try sending you after this. And you... Actually, no, I know I need to keep the two fleets, the two main fleets together. That's, that's not optional. I'm going to have to. Okay. You need to heal a little bit. If I draw him out... It's not necessarily a bad thing. I'd rather fight him in a ground with no military stations around. Samnivik Prime has been established. Eh, no big deal. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to fight this war out a little bit because you know how this is going to work. I'm basically just going to play as cautiously as I can. And before I piece anything out, I will return and we'll record some more. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.